I look like a sloppy ass 40s bitch. <laughs> my hair is crazy. <laughs> Megan and Sue in the restricted section and today we are gonna do our cozy a thon TBR yeah I have the hankering to do a readathon and so and uh, I came across this one and it is uh, hosted by Sylvia K and it takes place from February 1st until the 15th yeah so it's a two-week read. It's a two-week readathon, which is awesome because then I actually have a shot of succeeding at it. Uh oh, oh damn it! Is that Sasha? Shushy? Oh, shush! Every time. Um, and we're gonna be drinking this uh, tropical pale ale from Boulevard. From Boulevard. Boulevard, which is in Kansas City, Missouri, and it uh, is ale with grapefruit and passion fruit. Oh no, our last passion fruit one wasn't very good. Ooh. I've had this before though. This one doesn't really smell the same as the other one. Mm, I like it. That's pretty good. I like that. That's good. It's a good one. It's good stuff. More refreshing. I drink that in the mm -hmm. summertime when it's warm. Yeah. It's real crisp. All right. So this readathon is um, pretty cool because there's challenges that have to do with like where or how you're reading um, as well as book challenges. Mm -hmm. So the first few challenges have to do with where you're reading. Mm -hmm. So the first challenge is a coffee or tea date. So read in a coffee shop or tea room. And the second one is a chocolate date. And this is based on Valentine's Day, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> you hadn't realized it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that is read while eating or drinking chocolate. Really excited about that one. <laughs> I'm going to do really well at that one. Um, the third one is cake shop date. So read while eating cake or cookies. Again, I'm I can excel. do that. Yeah. Excel at that challenge. I'm going to do great at that. <laughs> um, next is movie date, and that's read while eating popcorn. I already do that all the time, so I'm good there. <laughs> um, walk date, take a walk while listening to an audiobook. And next is romantic date. Visit a romantic place and read there, which I don't really know. What is a romantic place? I'm not sure, because I mean, especially in Springfield. I met my husband at a dive. Could I go read there? I also met my boyfriend at a bar. Read in a bar? Read in a bar. <laughs> Stay at home date. Read wrapped up in a blanket. I'm going to enjoy that one too. Again, I got you fan. Yeah, that's how I always read with a blanket on. And then the last non-book one is Cinderella Date, and that's read until midnight. I'm going to have a hard time with that one, y'all. I'm not. Because <laughs> I go to bed at like 8 or 9 o'clock every yeah. night. Some old. I guess you could like start reading at 11.59 and end at midnight. You could just set your alarm, wake, wake up, up read, read for a minute, a page, and go back to bed. Um, All right, so next let's get into the bookish challenges. The bookish ones. The first bookish challenge -y challenge is read a book with red or pink on the cover. What? Uh, for this, I'm going to read Kindred, the graphic novel adaptation by Octavia Butler and Damien Duffy and John Jennings. Um, I'm going to read Red Queen by Christina Henry. This is the second book in a series. The first book was called Alice, and it's like an Alice in Wonderland retelling. And the next challenge is to read a book with a sweet title. For this, I'm going to read The Sugar Frosted Nutsack by Mark Lehner. Which is the best possible choice for that challenge. It's clearly the way to go. Yeah. You know, looks weird as fuck. And I'm going to read Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel. Which is also going to complete a Read Harder challenge for me. Hey. Hey. Kindred. Hey. <laughs> so the next one is to read a book about love or a relationship. I'm going to read A Scandalous Secret. Oh my. By Jayshree Misra. Uh-huh. And this was the first book I ever got in a bookly box. I remember that. Yeah. I don't know how. It's not something I would typically read. But it's about like a couple who are... The Golden Couple of Delhi, it's oh. in India, it's a and uh, then they turns out that the woman in this couple had had a baby when she was 
18 and gave it up for adoption and now the baby, the, the grown child is trying to find her and somehow that's like a big scandal. Hmm. I guess maybe her husband didn't know she hmm. boned some other dude. I don't know. She was, maybe he thought she was a virgin. Spoiled. I don't know. Let's not get into that. That's <laughs> nice. Um, I'm going to read uh, This Is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Tropper. I got this from one of our friends in a book swap. It was from me. Oh, I, thought, I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was from you or Jamie. I was like, I got it from somebody. Yeah, it was me. Um, it was pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. And the next challenge is to watch a Disney adaptation of a fairy tale of your choice and then read a retelling of it. I'm going to read Susan. I'm going to borrow it from Susan. <laughs> and I'm going to watch Snow White. I think I'm going to read Stars Above, which is the short story collection that's set in the universe of the Lunar Chronicles. And I'm sure that there's probably a story involving Cress, who was based on Rapunzel, mm -hmm. so I'm probably going to watch Tangled. So the next one is to read a, or to buddy read a book with someone. Uh, I'm going to be buddy reading The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien with uh, Jessica and Christina over at Game of Tomes. Hey. And I'm going to be buddy reading Kindred, the graphic novel edition with Sue. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna have two buddy reads. Two? But I count as Kindred for the red thing instead. The red thing. <laughs> the next challenge is to have a reading date with a friend or friends or your loved one. And I kind of thought, I saw this link about like how to host a reading party with your friends and I kind of thought that it would be fun to do that. Yeah, we should. Like, I think it'd be fun to just have people over and like have snacks and stuff and just have like a silent reading party. That sounds cool. And then the last challenge, which I'm also excited about, <laughs> is shopping date. Buy yourself a bookish present. Oh. So, pretty stoked to buy myself a present. Wow. I feel so. so. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a book, it can just be like bookish. Book related. Book related gift. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's all the challenges. I think this will be a good readathon because it's two weeks and it's like kind of more laid back. I don't know if I'll be getting in all of those challenges about like where and how to read. Yeah, because <laughs> we'll like some don't of usually them, like to go places to read. <laughs> I wouldn't mind to go places and read, like, but I'm probably not going to take a walk and read, like, listen to an audiobook. Yeah. Because, like, for two reasons. Audio I, I don't like audiobooks. And then also, like, if I'm out in public walking, like, I like to be able to hear what's going on yeah. around me because I get kind of weird about that. Yeah. I get so, that. I, don't I want might. To I might take my dog for a walk and listen. Because I am in the middle of an audiobook right now. So, yeah. just have, like, one earbud in. One earbud in, one earbud out. That's what I do at work. I have one. So, like, when people... Like my employees are talking to me sometimes. They walk in and I'm listening to music in one ear. <clears throat> and like if it's gonna just be a quick thing, I just leave it in and listen to them. But like sometimes I don't realize that it's not gonna be a quick thing. So like sometimes they're talking to me and I like have septic flesh in my ear. <laughs> <I'm> like <sighs> pause. <sighs> yes. You pause my death metal. Yes. Sometimes I'm Can listening I to like you? something really embarrassing though, like pause my backstreet boys. <laughs> What? <laughs> Backstreet's back. All right. Everybody's <laughs> asking me questions. What? <laughs> so, uh, I really like this beer. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. It's good pale ale. Yeah, it's pretty delicious. If you are planning on doing this readathon, let us know what you're planning on reading. Let us know how you're doing. Maybe we could, if we do decide to do a couple of those like reading things, we could do like quick little vlog things. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. We can yeah. try that. Just kind of five minute little check-ins. Yeah. Maybe we'll vlog. Remember Fuck when it. we tried to vlog for a while and then we gave <laughs> We're up just kind of like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Vlogging is hard. not fun, really. Vlogging it's like really awkward hard. and yeah, it's difficult. It's awkward. Props to the vloggers, man. I don't know how they can do that. Like, I'm kind of like impressed with that because anytime we've gone somewhere I'm like trying to be really, really stealthy awkward. like yeah there'll be some links below where you can find us other places on the internet and if you're not already subscribed to the restricted section you should do it we'll see you guys next see time. you next time bye bye